Welcome to part two, mom sleeps in Elvis Presley's bed. Bad Homburg. This is where Elvis went first. Die Ausfahrt nehmen. I am now inside the Ritter Hotel, which is now the Steinberger today. And guess what they have right here? They have a big Elvis Presley portrait. This is inside the lobby. This was probably the main entrance. Oh, we gotta check it from the outside. This is where Elvis stayed the first night in Ritter's Hotel, which today is Steigenberger Hotel. But they redid the whole hotel. And I talked to the people inside and believe it or not, they have no clue which part they added on or which part is the old part. So I believe this is the entrance. There's a picture of Elvis walking out the hotel lobby and it says Ritter's Hotel on top. So I'm guessing this is the exact spot. So that's the Steigenberger Hotel. If you look to the right, it says bar and restaurant Ritter's. If you come a little bit to the right, you pan up all the way to the top. This is the Elvis Presley suite. That's where he was staying on top right here. The room costs 275 euros a night. It's actually cheaper than the one where we stayed at the Villa Grunwald. Yeah, that's where he was staying first. He only stayed here one day. Because it was too far to drive from Bad Homburg to Friedberg every day. There's a picture of Elvis standing right here on the corner crossing the street. Let me match it up. And then when you go across the street there's the Kaiser Friedrich promenade and there's his statue and again we're stepping in Elvis Presley's footsteps here's Friedrich the third a statue and you're probably thinking why would you film something like this I'm gonna show you in a second because I found another picture on the internet where Elvis is standing in front of the statue with his dad, Vernon. That would be right here. And he got his uniform on and he's looking at the statue of Friedrich III. I love things like this when I find places like this. At this point, I have to give a big shout out to the spa guy. He's also a big Elvis fan. His YouTube channel has a lot of videos about Elvis Presley, but he done his research and without him, I would not know that this was the hotel where Elvis was staying. But they teared it down and this is a brand new building. So the red building you see here used to be the Hilberts Park Hotel. And this is where Elvis stayed when he came from Bad Homburg. But, uh, Right away, they got told that they had to move out the next day because some rich king from the Middle East rented the whole hotel. So he had to move on to a different hotel. And that's when he went over to the Villa Grunwald. Thank you very much, spa guy. I appreciate your help. Welcome to the Hotel Villa Grunwald in Bad Neuheim. Unbelievable, I made it. And this is the hotel where Elvis was staying in. Believe it or not, German in Venice is going to show you what his room looks like. You better believe it. What? Who is this? This is my mom. What is she doing in Elvis's place? This is room 10 at the Grünwald Hotel. Unbelievable. Mom is already inside. That's mom standing on Elvis's balcony. Can you believe it? That's where he was standing. And when you pan down from the hotel, you see like a main shift shrine that Elvis fans put here. Elvis Aaron Presley, the king of rock and roll. 1958 to 1960, right here in Bad Neuheim. Erbe der Welt. Many greetings from Austria. In memory, Elvis Presley, 20 years. People still love Elvis Presley like it was yesterday. 
Hey, it is rusty. It's a really nice hotel. I think it's from 1888. And on this side, they got a guitar. And I think this is like an Elvis Presley fan club. They meet here in the footsteps of Elvis Presley. Every second Sunday, they do like a tour. They meet up here at uh, two o'clock. I've never seen this picture before with the horse. This is his house on Goethestrasse 14. And also across from the hotel is the Elvis Presley Platz. Willkommen an der Villa Grunwald. And when you're a YouTuber, you always want to try to match up some pictures, but people sitting right there right now. And that's where I have some pictures of him kneeling down, but I can't get to it right now. But let's walk here on the side. I think I have one picture where he's standing on the side here. You see this old fence here, how it's wiggled. Just keep an eye on this, show you something. This is the fence right here, how oh, it's wiggled. And you see this balcony? This is the balcony right here. And this is where Elvis was standing and showing the lady what time it is, or he showed him his new watch, I'm not sure. But that was right here at the back entrance at the Grünwald Hotel. We got another picture of him standing in front of the hotel in uniform, which was taken Approximately right here. There's the garage in the background as you can see Elvis was in front of the door here If you walk outside the patio You see this grid to the basement the patio was not here 60 years ago And Elvis was here in the winter time And you see the window in the back He was kneeling down and making a snowball That's crazy. So this is the basement window. And look at this pipe here. It's been here 60 years ago. Another picture to match up. Huh? He's catching the snowball. And now we're going into the hotel. And right when you walk in, that's exactly the couch where he was laying on. Check this out. I don't think the couch was in this room. I think it was in an upstairs room. But this is the Elvis Presley couch. And check this out. They also got the wall clocks, microphones. And I think this is the lady who owned the building. But Neuheim. The nice guy at the reception actually told me that the couch where he's laying on here was not here. The original couch was standing over here. This was not a doorway back then. Yeah, laying on Elvis's couch. And then he can also sit here if you want to drink something. This is the piano where Elvis was playing on. And Lisa Marie was sitting right up here while he was playing. Not, but that would be a nice story, right? So don't believe everything I say, but this wasn't right, but everything else is pretty much right. Of course, more stuff here in the lobby. We don't want to see this picture, but this is how the hotel looked back then. They didn't even have the Elvis Presley room up there in 1890, I think. And this is another picture of Elvis arriving here in Germany. When you walk in, they have the breakfast room here. Like really old chairs. It looks really nice though. 
And then there's like a all you can eat buffet. And this is the way going up to the hotel rooms. And I don't think this is Elvis original uniform. I think it's just a replica. But still pretty cool. And then you walk up to the second floor. So you walk up the stairs here to the second floor and Elvis rented the whole second floor and there's a whole different rooms here. Let's go to the left first. There's one room here, maybe his dad, Vern, Vernon stayed here. Who knows, this is a brand new elevator. That one was not here back then. There's this old elevator, but it's not working anymore. Just imagine how many times Elvis walked in and out here. Crazy, huh? And there's two more doors here. Maybe Minnie Mae stayed in this one and his friends or his secretary stayed in this room. But this is the room number 10. This is not working though. You gotta have this card. All electronic now. And here we are. Look at this. This is the Elvis room. There's even a picture of him, J-Lo's rock. Look at all the interior. I talked to the guy. I have to say it was really, really nice. He explained some stuff to me. Most of the stuff here is original. Of course, the TV is not, but those seats, it's really hard to get out of them when you go in here. But those are all original. This lampshade. Can you tell some stories, please? The bed is the original bed. That's what he said. I don't know if this is like an extra bed. I'm not sure if it was here. But look at this detail here, in this mirror. Nice. And I think the drapes are the same. Definitely that old chair here. And if you, an art lover and you like oil paintings, wow. I'm not sure if this is all original. I believe so. This is the bed. Elvis, which side were you sleeping on? This one or this one? We even got some free Haribo when you come here. Elvis touched this. I must say the carpets are a little scary to walk on because they slide a little bit back and forth. Let's go to the next room. There's another painting. Even this, whatever this is called, I don't know. Probably had his drinks in here or I don't know. There's not much space for clothing if you live here. Unfortunately, I found this picture on the internet after my trip. This is Elvis standing in front of his closet. I think it's absolutely amazing. You got this old cupboard. And just to let you know, it smells here like when I visit my grandpa or parents. You know, it's like kind of like old smell, like old clothes and old. It's not bad. The sink, they said it was original. I'm not sure. They have two different ones. And this is pretty dope too. They didn't even change those. Those are all the originals, but they don't work anymore. If you hit it, no, you can ring them downstairs. But they have the electrical switches here now. That's for on and off. Like I said, I knew what I was getting into when I rented this room here. 
but I had to do it. It's pretty hot in here too. Oh, really tiny restroom. We're gonna get claustrophobic in here. <laughs> I don't want to say it, but yep, that's where you would. That's where the king was sitting. Wow, this place is um, really small. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I never would guess that I ever would sit on a toilet where Elvis Presley was sitting on. <laughs> you probably think I'm crazy. And most of you guys don't understand. There's some people they understand what I'm talking about. It's not the toilet and I don't know what it is. Is it because I want some of his fame or I really can't explain it, but there's some energy that makes me feel really good when I come to places like this. It's just like a happy place. And you know, he was here. It just makes me feel good. And that's what it's important, I think. You hear how much noise it makes when you walk in here in those old rooms. And I believe there's hot water going through here in the winter time. I don't know if they turn it on or if you have to turn it on and it heats up the place. This is where Elvis took his bath. Squeaky, smelling. It is unbelievable, isn't it? I'm glad I did it. First I thought, hmm, should I really do it? But I wanted you guys to see it as well. I mean, there's pictures and other videos on the internet. But German in Venice wasn't here yet. So let's go check it out, how it looks outside on the balcony. I know those are not blue suede shoes. But you think Elvis ever walked here with his blue suede shoes? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Really easy to open. And there we are. And look who's sitting outside. Mom is already on the internet. Hi. How do you like it, Mom? Is it okay? It's, it's okay. It's like, I'm, I'm very nice. You're happy? Yes. That's what all that counts. Mom is happy. Mission accomplished. And the park is right there. The church where we went earlier is all the way down there. You can, everything is in walking distance. You can walk from here to his house where he lived. There we got a little Elvis Memorial Shrine. I'm gonna check it out in a minute. That's downstairs. Nice, it looks really nice. I did a good job here. I'm probably just one of the thousands of Elvis fans that came here before me. I mean, I have friends they stayed here. There's other YouTubers they stayed in here. And now the GIV, the German in Venice is here. Only picture I found on the internet is right here where Elvis is kneeling down in front of the girl and you see the heater. This is the same heater and he's kneeling down. His guitar is in the back of the corner. His guitar was right there. I mean, how crazy is this, huh? I just can't believe it. Elvis was kneeling in front of this heater right here. Unbelievable. Anyway, a lot of people probably think, how much does it cost to stay in Elvis Presley's hotel room? If you come here during the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I think it's $216. I came here on the Friday one night and it cost $300. I know you guys probably think it's crazy to pay that much money for a hotel room that looks that old and it's nothing comfortable in here. It's just all old, the bed is squeaky, but this is something I always wanted to do. I never thought I'm gonna be here. This is something that makes memories for me for the rest of my life and also for my mom. My mom is 75. She would have never believed that one day she's going to sleep in Elvis Presley's bed and that was worth every penny. Anyway, so now you know how much it is and I can only recommend to do it because it's a special feeling. Like I told you so many times, uh, I was at the thriller party at Michael Jackson's house exactly the same feeling i wasn't in i was actually inside the house as well but not like in his michael jackson's room but uh it is pretty dope 
I can only recommend it. I found another picture, a different angle. You see Vera Cheshova sitting in a chair and Elvis kneeling in front of it. From what I heard is that Elvis was dating her as well. You see the door handle here? There's another picture. Back then, this was a brand new room. Yeah, the heater was here when he was here. See this picture here? I just got an idea. I signed this picture of me, German in Venice, and I'm gonna hide it behind here in the back. Just put it here. So it is behind this picture. Damn, I even got a better idea. This is 10 euros. I'm also gonna place it behind the picture. It's probably easier if you lift it up a little bit, but I'm gonna put this behind as well. So if you come here, stay here, there's a beer for me, for you waiting, the 10 euros, okay? I put it right here. Fold it. It's actually, it's right behind here. All right. You gotta move the picture though, in order to get it. If you get it, film it, send it on my Instagram. That would be awesome. Happy beer day for you. Mom, smile. This is gonna be our thumbnail. People think we're crazy, but uh, mom collected all those LPs. We got some more, but they got some border damage. So this is all we had left, but I thought we had to bring them here. Do you think Elvis ever thought that we're gonna bring all the records right here? No. So this is in honor of the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. And he was laying in this bed and now his record is in his bed. Mike left the building. I'm just walking in the room and checking out all the details. I don't care if the paint is scratched. I think it looks good. Look, there's a secret door here. What is this? That's where Elvis' guitars used to be. I don't know, just thinking. What is an exile in the spare room? I'm sitting in a chair here and just looking at everything. It's the old chair here. Mom is totally exhausted in bed, she's out. Mom, how is it to sleep in Elvis Presley's bed? Mom said she wanted to stay here 60 years ago in this bed, not today. But uh, better late than never. And mom is going to have a good night because she walked a lot today. So sleep well in Elvis Presley's bed. Yes. Good night. Good night. I just wanted to show you how my mom looked 60 years ago. Maybe she wouldn't have some chance with Elvis. She was not at the right time at the right place. Yeah, and that's what would Elvis see when he was laying in bed. This bed makes a lot of noise. Ooh. Yeah. So far, I visit over five different Elvis sites. I went to the house in Beverly Hills in front of the gate next to Michael Jackson's house. I went to the honeymoon house in Palm Springs. Then I went to Graceland. I went to this place right here. And I went to the house in Beverly Hills where you can find the vlog on my YouTube channel. You gotta check it out. And I actually found the pictures when I went to Graceland years ago. Check it out. I think that was the back office at Graceland. This is the plane, Lisa Marie Presley. And here I'm standing in front of the grave. Yeah. The young German in Venice. This is the gate. Another picture of his grave. Here where the gates are closed. Yeah, that was a long time ago, over 30 years ago for me. Look at all the graffiti writing on the walls, all the names, even the sign is full of names. The GRE in front of his house. At his graveside. 
And of course, back then, I also put my name on the wall. I did the tour with the jungle room and all those different rooms he had. But I'm sure I'm gonna go there again and do a vlog about it. Do you know what Lisa Marie Presley and the German in Venice have in common? No? We were both born in 1968 in February. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. They made one of those little bus stations into a jailhouse rock. I don't know what kind of building this is. Looks like, like an electro building. But yeah, jailhouse rock. And when you walk around in Bad Nauheim, you see some of the traffic lights. Elvis blinking red and green. As you guys all know, sometimes it's really hard to match up a picture. If you walk down this street, you walk straight to his house where he was living on Goethestrasse 14. This used to be an empty field, right? All those buildings are brand new. It's 60 years ago, so they built a lot of new stuff here. This used to be a windmill and they call them salt salinen. It's really good for your lungs when you breathe in the salt water. And I found a picture where Elvis is laying in the grass with the four girls. And as you can see on the left, you see the, the windmill, which would be right here. And the ending, so the walkway is the same, but if I would walk further down, you don't really see the Selena anymore because it's all full of buildings. But it was on this trail where Elvis was meeting up with the girls. Elvis, you're the king. Right around this structure was Elvis' playground where he was playing football with his friends. This used to be the windmill. And whatever that is, this place is huge. And they have the salt water dripping down. It's pretty cold around here. And you can smell it. I bet Elvis was thinking the same thing I'm thinking when I first saw this thing. What in the world is this thing? Mom, take a deep breath. <sighs> this is good for your lungs here, breathing this air. I think there's one more picture where Elvis is standing right here. And the building with the smokestacks is right there. So Elvis' house back down there, but all this wasn't here, it was just a big field. Nothing here. Salute. Willkommen in Friedberg, Hessen, the army home of Elvis Presley. And at the roundabout, they have this cutout statue of Elvis. Pretty cool. Army home of Elvis Presley, 1958 to 1960. Nice. On October 1st, 1958, Elvis came with the USS Randall to Bremerhaven and he took the train to Friedberg. There's a lot of pictures on the internet where you can see him walking off the ship and then he signs autographs to people, takes pictures with his fans. And then he actually took the train all the way to Friedberg here, to the Ray Barracks. I think they did a really good job with this statue here. And Germany still loves Elvis, that's for sure. It's too bad that everything is rotten away. I heard they converted into like a shelter for people. Elvis was in Company D, 1st Battalion. 32nd armor and he was in the tank company. I got a picture here. You find Elvis in this picture. Count from the top left, one, two, third to the right. That's Elvis right here. I think Elvis signed up at the military a while ago and I think they drafted him at the wrong time because he was on top of his game like uh, 
he was really popular, he became really famous. And when actually he came to Germany, he was afraid that he's going to lose all his fans and could he ever gain back the popularity he had before. So Colonel Parker took care of that. When he actually was back in the United States, he released a few albums, so they kept his fans happy. And I think um, it didn't really hurt his career that he went to the military. This was the main entrance here because I got a picture to prove it. Let me just squeeze through this gate here. That's where the guard used to be. This is where the guard used to be. And there's another picture of Elvis here. If you see this building is perfectly match up. And they had the sign, Ray Barrick sign, right over there. Man, I would love to go in here. Achtung, Wachhunde. They're not sleeping, they're wach. Elvis was fortunate enough that he could stay over there in his own private house. He didn't have to sleep in the barracks. But every day he came in with his little BMW and his lip went up like this. Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing guys? I found another entrance and I found another picture where Elvis was standing. It's hard to match up because the building is right there on the side. But as you can see, this is kind of like roundish looking. And there's Elvis standing right here. And the barracks are right there. This big building, other barracks where they were sleeping. Betreten verboten, Privatgrundstück. Somebody has access to this place for sure. You just gotta know the right people. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from the Villa Grünwald in Bad Neuheim. This is where Elvis stayed when he first came to Germany and when he was stationed here. And I showed you the room, I showed you where he was walking around. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and maybe you subscribe to my channel to see more what's coming up. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> see you guys later. Tschüssing.